Within the CSWP exam, you're going to be asked to create pockets, such as the offset pocket in this sample exam. And there are several ways to manage creating these. So you can either go about creating everything in a single sketch, or everything on one plane in a single sketch, or creating multiple sketches. You can, for example, see in this part that if I look at my initial sketch, that I've created just about everything within the same sketch or anything that could have been created in one plane in this sketch. And then the additional components that I added later had to be created in separate sketches. You can also break these into individual sketches. So for example, if I create a cylinder or circle on the top plane, I can create this as a single sketch and then I could draw another sketch on top. To create my pocket. So this is one way to go about creating the parts for the CSWP. I tend to prefer actually creating an, everything in a single sketch, so I'm going to talk specifically about using that method. If you choose to use this method, which is creating the sketches separately, you'll pretty much follow the same format, except you'll create multiple sketches on different planes. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these out and create another sketch here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw out a box. I'll give this some dimensions to make this easier to manage. And then I'm going to draw out a circle. and once again give those dimensions. Now within the exam I'm probably going to have fillets on all four of these back corners. So I'll just create these assuming that. And then now I want to create a pocket within this profile. And I added this circle just to make it a little bit more difficult to create this pocket. So for this, let's assume that the exam asks us to create an offset of 5 millimeters. And in this case, I'll just go ahead and say select chain and click on the inside. Now you'll notice if you offset something far enough where it can't create the fillet, it'll give you these yellow boxes. That's fine because all of the pockets within the CSWP are going to require fillets anyways. So when we do come in and change this, it'll eliminate out that error. We want to do the same with the circle. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my trim tool and choose the power trim and remove out all of the excess areas. If you use this method for creating your offsets, take your time in figuring out which lengths you're going to need and which you're not. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to tell what you'll be using and what you won't.
when you do use the trim tool sometimes you'll run into an issue where this will become underdefined for example in this case we need a vertical relation to get this to be fully defined and then within the exam you'll typically have to add fillets to all of these corners and once again sometimes with the fillets you'll also lose a dimension that you need so if that happens you can just quickly use the smart dimension tool and add that back in I'll go into more detail on creating the specific pockets that are required for the sample exam so you don't have to worry too much on the specifics of how I got to this point now I'm going to be creating extrusions using multiple contours and so I have two options I can use the contour select tool and specifically choose out contours from the sketch but the faster option is simply to go into the extrusion choose out the sketch and then you have the selected contours option at the bottom now typically with this section you're going to have a symmetrical part about this plane or this initial plane that we created our sketch on so I'm going to go ahead and choose the mid plane option and we're going to go ahead and just assume a depth of let's say 16 millimeters now I have two other contours to work with the circle as well as my pocket and I can go ahead and just come into this pull down choose sketch one and go into extruded cut and that'll once again bring me into the selected contours box now typically the center of the part is going to be untouched and there's going to be cut away from the outside so rather than create the sketch on the outside plane we created it in the mid plane which means we're going to have to change the from condition and we can do this from a surface a vertex or from an offset I'll go ahead and choose my top surface and create a cut of four millimeters now I want to go ahead and mirror this over to the other side as we'd want this pocket on both sides you'll notice though that with the mirror tool if I try to mirror this I'm going to run into some sort of error and the reason for this is typically when you use a from or a up to end condition it's not going to be able to replicate that on the other side so we simply have to choose the geometry pattern so it just copies that pocket over to the other side for the circle I'm gonna go ahead and assume that we needed to create another extrusion and I'll talk about the offset from condition a little bit more in the sample exam videos as you need to use the offset for that but I'll go ahead and just give an example where you can use it here so if I had an extrusion only on one side of this part for example and I needed an extrusion of 20 millimeters I could go ahead and use that offset and use it to create that extrusion of course it doesn't make too much sense to use that in a case like this but there will be a case or several cases on the exam 
where using that offset option will probably help you complete the feature faster than you would be able to otherwise, especially with that up to surface and condition. So keep in mind that you do have those from and end conditions at your disposal on how you want to create a feature. I'll go ahead and just use one more example and I'll create a quick sketch on this face. So once again if you create most of your sketch entities in a single sketch you're going to be using the from surface and from an offset and you'll probably also use an up to surface or up to vertex at some point as well as a through all if you needed a through all cut and the last that you might use is an offset from surface so if I needed this to be let's say two millimeters from this face I could create that cut with the offset from surface end condition. And lastly to speed up the process of choosing those end conditions you can always right click in the workspace and choose out your end condition type. 